Welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. Today um, we'll talk about how can we open a Word document using Excel VBA. So before we start with the demonstration, I will quickly refer to the Insert tab and create a button that will help us um, open a Word document. So let's call this Open Word Doc. Now let's jump down to Visual Basic and let's create a new procedure called Open Word. Now in order to open a Word document, firstly we need to define an object. So let's say dim um, Word Doc as object. Now um, you may want to set the Word Doc and you may want to create an object that goes for um, Microsoft Word which is um, word dot application what this would do is this would create um, this object through which then what we want to do is we want to say word doc dot documents dot open and then you'd need to enter the path name where your file is located so I've created a sample file that's located on my desktop I just right click on it I go to properties I grab the path which is available right here and of course the name of the file so let's say open um, test file you may wa also want to mention the extension of um, the file that you're trying to open in order to get the extension again you can right click go to properties and you get it right here for this it's do dot docx which I've inserted right here and finally you may want to say word doc dot visible equal to true um, so we managed to write a piece of code which will help us open a new Word document by firstly creating a Word application Word session through which it will use the open function to open the desired path as entered by us and finally it will show the application. Now let's just minimize this. Let's go back to our Excel workbook and um, let's assign the function that we've just created to this button right here. Now on clicking this button as we can see um, a new Word document session has opened up which is exactly the file that we spoke about to open in the first place. So this is how pretty much we can use an Excel code to open a Word document using Excel VBA. So I hope the video was helpful guys and please stay tuned for more.